Hallelujah. Hallelujah this morning, Father. We just 
come to you this morning. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor today. Heavenly Father, as we come, we come before you this morning with, we're grateful, Father. We are truly grateful. Thank you for the opportunity to gather in your presence this morning. And Father, we thank you for the ones who have joined in today. We, we gather in your name this morning. Father, we unite in prayer. And as we unite this morning, Father, we are reminded of this, this truth that only what we do for Christ will last. And so this morning, Father, help us to internalize this message and to live it out in our daily lives. And so, Father, we thank you for your word this morning that reminds us in the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 23 and 24, it tells us that whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. Hallelujah. And so this morning, Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you have given us the ability, Father, to serve and the willingness. We dedicate our works to you, Lord, knowing that our true reward comes from serving you. And so may every thought, every action, every effort be for your glory. So Father, we thank you today. We thank you for bringing this to our attention today. As we're praying this morning, Father, we come, we want to give you glory. So we thank you, Father. We praise you this morning. Thank you for giving us rest. Thank you for the activities of our limbs this morning. Thank you for being in our right mind this morning, Father, that we're praying. Hallelujah. We thank you for the praying people this morning. Well, you told us to pray always, Father. Pray without ceasing. So as we come together, Father, unite us even right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we may be united in prayer on one accord this morning, seeking you, seeking your face, seeking direction, seeking clarity, seeking guidance. and asking for your wisdom this morning. And so Father, we ask that you would grant us the wisdom to see beyond the temporal and focus on the eternal. And so in our daily lives, Father, we help us this, to prioritize what truly matters. Help us to think about it, to really meditate on it. What truly matters. Our relationship with you, Father, and, and our, and the impact we make for your kingdom. So this morning, may we think on these things here, Father. And so we thank you for an opportunity to be able to sit still for a moment and think about only what we do for you will last. So may our singing, may our preaching, may our teaching, may our giving 
be pleasing in your sight, Lord. And carry uh, an eternal significance. So this morning, Father, as your vessels, as your children uh, in this world, but not of this world, in the earth, doing a work for you, Lord, this morning, we ask for strength. We ask for perseverance in our service to you, Lord. Let us not be distracted. Let us not be busy. But let us be intentional. Whether we're singing, whether we're preaching, whether we're teaching or, or giving or serving. Remind us, Father, that these acts, when done in your name, will stand the test of time. And so help us this morning, Father, to, to conquer the, the failures of our past by dedicating our present and our future to you, Lord. And so we thank you this morning for transforming our mistakes into testimonies. Testimonies of your grace and, and your favor and your power. So, Father, we thank you for bringing us out of darkness into your marvelous light. Thank you for showing us the way. Thank you, Lord, for giving us another opportunity. Thank you for another chance. Thank you, Lord, this morning. We're grateful to come before you and say, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for not giving up on me, Lord. Thank you for not turning a deaf ear to me, Lord. Thank you, hallelujah for hearing my cry. We give you praise this morning. We thank you for this body of believers, Lord. We ask that you would unify us in our purpose to serving you, Lord. And so as a community of believers, Father, let our efforts let our combined efforts bring glory to your name. And we thank you for the many hands making life to work, Father. We thank you for the ones who are willing to serve, willing to give, willing to teach, willing to preach, willing to sing. Father, we thank you for those who are willing to fellowship, willing to commune. But we thank you for them this morning. Father, we praise you. So may we continue to encourage one another, not give up on each other, uplift one another in our shared mission to do your will, Father. For it's in you that we live, move, and have our being. All we do, let it be unto you, Lord. For what we do for you, will last. So Father, let us not be discouraged when our when our serving or our efforts seem unnoticed. So this morning we thank you for reminding us that you see every act of kindness. Hallelujah. You see every moment of patience and and every prayer whispered, Father, you see all things. So we thank you that we're intentional about the, the treasure store that we store up in heaven, Father, the things that we're doing on earth today, that we know that rust and moth cannot destroy. Hallelujah. So we make a conscious decision, Lord, hallelujah. We make a conscious decision to dedicate our lives to you, holy to you, Father. Whatever we do, hallelujah. Whether it's in our careers and whether it's in our families, whether it's in the ministry, Father, whatever we do, 
let it be for your glory. Hallelujah. Even where, when we're on our jobs, Father, let our light shine. Let us be the light of the world. Let us represent your kingdom. And so we thank you for that today, that we are intentional. wherever we are, Father. Let us seek ways to, to impact others, Father. That we're able to impact them with your love and your grace, Father, and your patience, Father, that we're truly able to impact them, knowing that these efforts will echo in eternity, Father, for it is truly unto you the things that we do. And as we serve the, our brothers and sisters downtown today, Father, let us do it unto you. Hallelujah. So we thank you this morning, Father, for what you're doing in our lives, that you have called us to be your vessels. You have called us out of darkness into your marvelous light. And so we praise you this morning as we study your word today, as we meditate on your word. As we recall your word, Father, we thank you that we're intentional to draw closer to you, Father. So we thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for giving us wisdom, Father, on how to navigate throughout the earth. You said anyone who lacks wisdom, ask for it, and you give it freely, Father. So let us not be prideful. Let us not operate in the spirit of pride, but to ask you, Father, for wisdom, to ask you for guidance, for knowledge and understanding, Father, that we may do everything we do unto you, Lord. Let us not just be busy to be busy, but let us be intentional as we're led by the Spirit. So, Father, we thank you that we want to love, we want to give, we want to serve, we want to be your vessel, that you may get all the glory Hallelujah, for we are your children. We are the hands and the feet of Jesus in this world. And so let us be intentional as we smile, as we speak, as we, the words that come out of our mouth, the things that we do, Father. And so we thank you that the, the fruits of the Spirit are evident. So we thank you for that Holy Spirit this morning. So these are the fruit of the Spirit. We thank you for love. Thank you for joy. Thank you for peace. Hallelujah. Thank you for patience this morning. Thank you for long suffering. Thank you for temperance. Thank you, Father. Oh, we thank you for gentleness and kindness and meekness. We thank you, Father, for perseverance. We thank you for self-control. We praise you today, Father. Use us as your vessels this morning. Use us today as we go about this day, for this day belongs to you, Father. And we thank you. And as we close this prayer, Father, we thank you that we have an opportunity to recommit our lives to you. Hallelujah. Hey, God, we thank you. Thank you for another chance, Lord. Thank you, Father, for another opportunity to represent you and your kingdom, Father. We praise you today. Let our actions today, big or small, be pleasing in your sight. Hallelujah. So, Father, help us to live with, a, with an eternal perspective. Always aware that what we do for you is what truly lasts. And so, Father, we thank you for the privilege of serving you and for the promise of eternal reward. 
And so, Father, we thank you for it is a privilege to be a part of your kingdom. And so, Father, we want to be your vessels today. Use us for your glory. We thank you that we're able to impact the strangers, the orphans, and the widows. Hallelujah. We thank you for being the source, Father, of all of our resources. Thank you for, for blessing us to be a blessing. Thank you for meeting every need in our lives. Thank you for making a way when there didn't seem to be a way. Thank you for sending someone. Hallelujah. In our lives, Father, to help us throughout our journey. So we're grateful this morning that you have placed people in our lives who support us, who encourage us, who help us stay in faith. So Father, let us be a light to someone. Let us be that accountability partner to someone, to be there for them, Father, to help them that they may stay, stay in the race. And so we thank you this morning. We praise you. This day belongs to you, Lord. We love you and we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We offer our lives today. We present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you. And as we go about this day, we carry this truth today that we know that only what we do for you will last and we praise your holy name today and we give you glory in jesus mighty name we pray we say hallelujah and we thank god amen <laughs>